What is going on, Patriot Gardeners? It's your buddy Murdoch. And tonight, we're going to go on a little indoor homestead garden adventure involving some lettuce. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to show you guys how to take an entire packet of seeds, mix it up, and get in it a bunch of starts, like you see right back here. And then separate them to get these guys right here in these cups and it's a lot easier than you might actually think and a lot more rewarding and before anybody comments or says anything that you can't really grow lettuce in a cup or maybe even a little pot like that right there I have something I want to show you guys let me go ahead and set the camera up where we're going to be this evening. And voila. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's take a look at what we got here. This is uh, a single head of oak leaf lettuce. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my hand in here for uh, context and size and uh, yeah this is growing in a little tiny six inch pot <laughs> this is more lettuce than you can eat in probably a week and this was done in about 65 days uh, it did go over a little bit typically you could get this harvested in 40 45 days no problem uh, but I thought it would be cool to have a giant. So, you know what? For those that say you cannot grow because you live in an apartment or you live in, you know, a, a place that you just really can't. If you have a window with sunlight coming in it, you can grow some lettuce. And uh, tonight, I'm going to show you how. And you can do it in a multitude of different containers as well. Uh, that's one of the questions I get asked a lot is Murdoch, what is the best container to grow this vegetable in? You know, like, what is, you know, you can see here, I have these starts in this. This little, uh, I think this was an old strawberry container. I got some strawberries in, and I just reused this and sprinkled the, the seeds into this and got them started in this. And these are what we're actually going to be using tonight in our video uh, to separate and to get put into the red solo cups and I'm going to go over that as well but yeah you can just basically reuse what you got you ask me what the best container is I'm going to ask you well what do you got my weapon of choice is a uh, red solo cup and I use the double cup method and it's basically just one cup inside another one has no holes. One has about three, three, four holes in it. And what you're going to do is put the cups together. And that's actually going to make it so that the unit is contained. But you're going to offset the cups in the little grooves right here. And I've actually heard some people uh, using paper clips on the side uh, to keep the cup up above the uh, bottom of the second cup here. And that's kind of important. I just give it kind of a twist and it'll kind of lock in place like that. And then we'll fill it with our potting mix and uh, get to going. So let me go ahead and uh, get this beast cleared off the operating table. Let's take one more look at this. This is absolutely incredible. And we used some of this in a barbecue that we had a month ago with one of our patriots that came through. And uh, let me tell you, it was absolutely phenomenal. We had uh, tomatoes on the vine. We had this. We had some cucumber. We had a whole bunch of stuff, even right after the storms that came through here in Arizona. And it was phenomenal. So let me get the operating table cleared. And we will get to work. So this is going to be kind of a... Uh, seed to harvest you saw the end result first so now we're going to go back to the very very beginning 
Um, let's start with our lettuce. Now, if you didn't know, lettuce is actually in the daisy family of plants. And so are like sunflowers and things like that. It's one of the largest group and the most diverse of all the flowering plants. Um, you wouldn't even know, like artichokes are actually in the same family of plants as lettuce. Kind of a cool fact, right? And here's something else you might not know. I was actually kind of uh, giggling when I read this, but Americans eat about 30 pounds of lettuce per year each. So that was about a three pound head of lettuce there. So I don't know, about 10 of those and you're good to go for the whole year. So keep that in mind. And here's another fun fact. The darker the leaves on the lettuce, the more nutrient rich that it is. So as you can see, these leaves that we got going here, yep, even these, even though these are actually going to be some uh, green leaf, they're actually nice and dark. You can see this back here. Uh, this is our bib lettuce, and this is actually really, really good stuff. This is a baby oak leaf, like that giant one you just saw. Uh, this guy here is about, oh, three weeks old and doing really well. And over here, let's turn the camera and see what we can't see. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and move you guys on over. Uh, this here is uh, a red leaf. And that's what we actually have going in the back, these little guys that are over here. So, oh. Let me go ahead and set this back up here. You know, like when you go to the store and you buy iceberg lettuce, it's it's just absolute trash. So just keep that in mind. And you can do this, like I said, in a red solo cup in your windowsill. So there's really no excuse why you cannot be growing right now. Um, the soil that we're going to be using tonight, and I got a little bit right here. Um, is 50% Kellogg raised bed and potting mix, 20% Kellogg premium indoor potting mix, 20% compost, 5% sunshine mix, professional uh, growing aggregate with the uh, mycorrhiza. And you can get any kind of professional aggregate. And if, if you can't, just use some peat moss instead. And I always add about 5% perlite, and you can see that here in the mix. It does come with some in it. Um, the Kellogg products are very, very good. Um, but I always add about 5% more uh, just for some added drainage for the product. So with that out of the way, you've seen the red solo cups. You now know the soil. Let's talk about some lettuce. Tonight, I'm actually, I, I'm kind of excited about this. I've never tried this. This is a Simpson lettuce from Seeds of Change. Uh, it's an heirloom variety. It says it's going to be ready in about 45 days. So we're, it looks pretty nice. It's kind of a medium. Um, it says it's kind of a medium crisp lettuce. It should do well. Uh, we're still in early spring here in Arizona. So, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our seeds and let's turn you over here so you can actually get a good look. And we're going to pop these bad boys open. And we're going to take... Scoot you guys that way. Take the whole packet of seeds here. And there's really not... There, there's a few, but not that many seeds in here. And we're just going to go ahead and drop them all right in this little tub of soil. And this is just a couple handfuls of our potting mix that we're actually going to be putting these into. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and give it a good mix. Actually, I'll take my handy dandy stirring tool here. And you want to get this good and mixed up. And what this does, is it, and this is like uh, stratifying kind of, you know, separating the seeds evenly. And you'll find that if you do this, even if you were to direct sow outdoors, um, that your distribution of your seedlings will be 
greatly improved. It will look like you actually sat there and planted each and every one. It's amazing how well this works. And whether you're going to scatter them, put them in rows, um, do a couple pinches, um, usually the, uh, the seed distribution is much, much more even. So after we've got this all mixed up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come over home. And you can see I've just got this old styrofoam tote. It's got some holes drilled in the bottom. It's actually sitting on a tray right now. Um, this is pre-moistened soil, the same stuff we just went over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the soil and I'm going to go back and forth. And just sprinkle it as evenly as I can. I mean, you don't have to be perfect. We are going to be separating these after they grow. I mean, people are like, oh, no, you just dropped a whole packet of seeds into a handful of dirt. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. And I'm going to do that because I'm going to separate each and every one of those plants. How many of you have ever taken a packet of seeds, sown in a row outside, and then had to go through and sit there and thin? And then you look back at your row after you're all done, and you've got like half of the plants that you started with are all dead and dying laying in the row. Number one, that doesn't seem really fair to them. And number two, it just seems like a total waste to do that when you can actually do something like this and just distribute them everywhere. You can spread lettuce all throughout your garden. So now that we've got that done, what I'm going to do, and look at the mad scientist always has dirt like everywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and take a handful of our potty mix here. And I'm going to go ahead and go around and sprinkle it. Oh, look at that. We've got one of those mosquito hawk thingies flying around. I guess he wants to be in the video too. <laughs> And uh, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of this on top, just like so. Not too much. And like I said, you don't have to be perfect. As soon as we go to water this in, um, it's going to settle down. And the seedlings will grow even on the top of the soil, but you don't really have to worry about it. So what's the next thing we're going to do, Patriots? You know it. In loving memory of old Alabama gardener, we're going to water it well, and we're going to watch it grow. So, we're going to take our handy-dandy expensive watering device here, a.k.a. the watering bottle with about 10, 15 uh, pinhole needles poked in the top of it, and just squeeze some water right on top of this. And it... It doesn't have to sit and run out and go all over the floor, you know, anything like that. It's wet. And what you need to do now for the next, you know, five, seven days is keep it wet. Um, you can put a towel over the top of it. Uh, what I'm going to do is just take a piece of saran wrap or a piece of aluminum foil and just set it on the top of that. And in about five days, four or five days, I'll just go ahead and take the top off and leave it off from that point on. And everything should be good to go. So, let's skip ahead to the next stage of evolution of our lettuce. Which is where we come to this. So, let's just say that we had sprinkled all that dirt in this little thing, which is what happened. And then we got our lettuce to sprout up. Well, now... What are we going to do? This is an absolute mess, right? No, they're actually doing really, really, really well. And they do like growing uh, close together at this stage. And for us, it's actually a beneficial thing because it allows us to remove some of these guys and then put them into other containers, whatever it may be we choose. Whether it be, you know, our red solo cups that we're going to be doing right now. Whether it be like a six inch pot, you know, something that looks, you know, about like this right here. Or whether it's something like we've got in the back over here, which is, you know, like, I think it's like a six inch wide by a 28 inch wide or long box. Or even if you were to just plant them directly in something like this, you could probably get away with about, oh, eight, maybe eight different uh, lettuce if you were going to harvest them at the normal time. 
if you were going to go for a monster, then yeah, no, you're going to get one plan into that. Um, but for what we're going to do, we're going to take these guys right here and we're going to take our little tool. Let me turn this. And we're going to actually reach down in here at, and poke it all the way to the very, very bottom. And then we're going to go all the way around the side. And we're going to need, oh, looks like about four or five little plants here. And then I'm going to go what I believe to be about four or five plants over, go to the bottom. And very carefully, I'm going to lift up from the bottom. Now, a tip I will give you before you do this is to water the medium that your little plants are growing in. And that will help hold the dirt together and keep them all there. So, there we go. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? See all those little roots growing right there? This is after, oh, I think these guys are about 15 days old. So, yeah, they're doing really, really well. They absolutely love it underneath these lights. And if you haven't seen my video on how to do a grow room for under $75, I highly suggest you do. I'll leave a uh, link in the description below. But what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys oh, and drop some dirt there. And we'll set this up in here and out of the way. And we're going to bring this cup over here. Set it down. And we're going to set our guys down. And very carefully, we're going to go ahead and one by one from the outside, we're just going to very gently separate them just like this oh see that right there and these plants are actually pretty hardy you would be very very surprised so now we're going to take our red solo cup we're going to take our finger poke a little hole right there and you're going to hold the plant from the top just like so let me turn this and you're going to insert the roots right in there and you're going to hold it until you see about oh maybe a sixteenth of an inch an eighth of an inch above where the root mass begins on the actual plant itself let me point that out here real good so like right there on the plant you want that inserted into the soil and you're basically just going to go around the plant while holding it up and pinch the soil around it. Making sure that that soil is making good contact with it. That's it. Except for what? Water it well and watch it grow. Lettuce is kind of susceptible to uh, dehydration and shock after transplant so you should expect them to maybe wilt just a little bit but that's okay they will recover just keep them under the lights um, that one that was in the big pot was outside obviously um, but yeah that's it now we've got our little let us start right here isn't that pretty and in about 30 days 45 days i will have a giant head of lettuce that's it. That's all there is to it. So if we wanted to, we could take this and yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and reach back over here. Even if you grow them in the trays, you can reach in pretty much anywhere and remove a plant. We're going to take a red leaf from the back, just like that. We're going to come right here, holding the plant from the top. We're going to insert it. Make sure that that little part's sticking up. And we're going to pinch around the plant. We're not going to push down. That's important for the lettuce. Okay, now let me tell you why. Their roots are very delicate under, under the, uh, the base of the plant itself. 
And if you push down on the soil, you're going to tear them away from that little part that I'm trying to tell you to preserve there. And if you do that, the plant goes through a deep shock and it actually has to recover. You'll probably lose a few. So if you pinch around the base like this and then just replace the soil, kind of like that, making a little mini mound in your pot, you will do a hundred times better. I promise you. Your lettuce will do better. You will do better. Not stressing out over plants that are wilting over and doing all that. So we're going to water it well. Watch it grow. And as far as feeding for lettuce, you really don't have to do a whole lot. The Kellogg mix comes with like bat guano and all that good stuff. Earthworm castings already in it. Um, so I don't feed the babies after I initially put them in and let them grow for a little bit. Um, once I transplant these guys in about a week or two, I may give them some uh, water soluble like fish emulsion, the Alaska brand, the 522 or the 222. And that's it. I don't give them anything else because they're going to be harvested in 60 days. Um, most other fertilizer, I don't really want them loaded up with a bunch of fertilizers, even if it says organic. I want them to take it from the soil and get all that good natural flavor. And trust me, it really, really does. So let me grab another one. And like I said, don't be afraid. Um, these guys are resilient. If you do damage a couple roots, it's going to be all right. But using this method, not only does it allow you to sit here, I mean, like these guys here, I've got about four or five that are just, you know, twinned up. And if you just kind of tease them apart from the top right there like that, look at that. They come right apart. Even these two right here. Let's go ahead and tease them right apart. Just like that. Ta-da! You can do this. It is so easy. All you need is some patience and some love. It doesn't hurt to help them for a little bit of help from above. I always tell everybody in the videos, father started with a garden for a reason. It was the best place to teach his children to grow. And it truly is. This is so much better for you to do with your children than to sit and watch a movie or play a game. Playing in dirt and learning how to grow things, especially right now with the way society and the way things are going in the world, it's really an investment in your children's future, in your future, and much to your benefit, especially right now. So let's water this last one. And watch it grow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for coming along on this venture. I hope this has helped. And you can do this. Don't hesitate. Just grab a cup. Grab a to-go box. Grab whatever you got. Get some dirt. Even if you don't have all of the same soil components, go get a bag of potting soil. Lettuce is not really that picky. Um, to be truthfully honest, I just do this to enrich it so that I don't fertilize. I don't have to do anything else. It's, you know, done. And I can just move on with my life and rotate the crops. And that's another thing. You can put one of these in every single day and have a lettuce plant after 30 days um, every single day if you wanted from that point forward. As long as you kept that rotation up, you got 30 red solo cups at the end of the month. Your last plant is full grown, ready to cut, harvest, and that's that side dinner or side salad or whatever you want. But yeah, that's that. And to everybody who's been subscribing, thank you so very much. It really, really helps. And all the likes, if you could please on the way out, hit that like button. It really does help the channel grow. And then I can reach out and actually help teach other people how to do this. And you know, it it is really important and if you're not subscribed, you know, please consider doing so because I have a lot of other cool videos coming up teaching you guys how to grow in small spaces to get the maximum yield to grow things you have never seen before. I mean, how many people have you ever seen? Let's throw this thing up here one more time.
And honestly, I give all praise to Father for this, but this is absolutely amazing. And you can do this, Patriots. I believe in you. And you know what? I know somebody else who believes in you, too. Don't you ever forget that. I love you all very much. I'm looking forward to seeing the pictures and all the stories and all the comments below. I hope you all are very blessed and have a great evening. Good night. God bless. Murdoch out.